No one did exams in 2020. Now, this paper is from that year, and if there was an examiner's report, it would say something like less than 10% of people got this question right. I can almost guarantee it. I'll show you what it's about, then I explain what this question um, and how we answer it. So this question is all about a generator. Now, I'll answer this question in a previous video. Um, it says there's a generator, you turn a handle, and the idea is there's a potential difference induced, which you can read this answer here, which is a perfect five mark answer. Now, the question following up says the alternator, so this whole thing here, is disconnected from this thing here, the transformer and a the lamp. Then it says explain why the handle, so the person turning this, is going to experience a little bit easier to turn. So let's go through it. So the reason it becomes easier to turn is because when you've got um, it disconnected, and the first mark is quite obvious, if it's disconnected, that means there's no um, current or there's no induced current in the alternator, which kind of makes sense and kind of sounds obvious. Um, but with questions like this, you'll usually get at least an obvious mark for saying something that's happened, even if it's not the most fundamental thing to uh, the final answer. So the idea is that if you've got an alternator, so I'm just gonna sort of redraw it again quickly here. If there's no current that's being induced, the current that is induced in the wire produces its own tiny, tiny, tiny magnetic fields around the wire like this. Now, when those happen, that then causes there to be force which opposes the motion that is turning the thing in the first place. It's actually an example of something called Lenz's Law, which you do not need to know for GCSE, um, but it's kind of cool and you can Google it um, to find out a little bit more about it. So there's no induced current in the alternator. The idea is they'll, they'll, therefore there'll be no um, magnetic field produced around the coil. So if there's no magnetic field produced around the coil, um, basically, there's going to be no, um, nothing to oppose the motion of the person moving the handle, and therefore it's going to be much easier to turn, which is what the question is asking. So it says something like no opposing um, force um, produced, or force opposing the motion of the coil. And that would be enough for three marks for this question.